people in glass houses shooting throw stones, blah, 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 but that guy is paranoid. You're a little extreme in your judgment, don't you, Mueller? You know, all that crap about the fight for all souls, the literature we saw in there, the performance we just witnessed, it all fits. He thinks he's doing God's laundry. Well, he said this wasn't done by the hand of man. Do you think he believes that, too? If he does, he's even more dangerous than he appears. Even if he's not your killer, he is hiding something. What? Well, he says he knew the mother, but he won't give up her name. Maybe she's still alive. I think you have enough to bring him in for questioning. If not, make an arrest. Well, basically, you're ruling out any element of the supernatural. What do you mean? Well, Dara Kurnoff was baptized on the day of her death. She was sanctified by the ritual sacrament, submerged in the spirit. And why would God allow this to happen? And why do bad things happen to good people? Religion has masqueraded as the paranormal since the dawn of time to justify some of the most horrible acts in history. I was raised to believe that God has his reasons, however mysterious. Now, he may well have his reasons, but he seems to use a lot of psychotics to carry out his job orders. You want to find out who did this? I suggest you autopsy the body of Paula Koklos before it's interred, before the man who killed her has a chance to find her sisters. The victim is Paula.